Hi, my name is Lori Herzberg and I am an Emotional Freedom Techniques practitioner. What I'm going to do in this brief poster session is give you some background on Emotional Freedom Techniques and then I'm going to do a sample session for you. I invite you to choose your own topic to do a sample session on something that matters to you as I do the tapping on the topic that I've selected for myself. EFT got started in the 1970s with a psychologist, Dr. Roger Callahan, who had a patient who was so terrified of water that she couldn't bathe in more than an inch and she couldn't take her children to the pool or to the beach. Conventional psychology was failing her. But Dr. Callahan also had some familiarity with, with acupressure points and he had a brainstorm one day and he asked her where in her body did she feel the fear of water? She felt it in her stomach. He had her start tapping on one of the acupressure points for the stomach and the fear disappeared. And in a 30 year follow up, it had never returned. What Dr. Callahan did based on that first success is he developed protocols for tapping on specific acupressure points in a specific order for a specific emotional issue. And he started teaching it after he field tested it, he found it to be reliable. One of his students was a Stanford trained engineer, a man named Gary Craig. And like any good engineer, Gary sought to simplify something that was complicated, elegant, but complicated. And so he simplified this process to one protocol, one sequence, using all of the necessary tapping points that's used for every issue, and he called it Emotional Freedom Techniques, EFT for short. EFT now has a body of research behind it. We know that it works for lots of issues for lots of people. And while nothing works for everyone, if you think about an antibiotic, no one antibiotic works for every illness for every person, but antibiotics work. So EFT can be thought of in that same way. So while I do the topic that I've chosen for myself, I invite you to tap along on the topic of your choice. The starting point is to measure the intensity of the impact of the belief or the feeling. So when I started this morning, my belief that I started with, that I'm on my own with this and that there's no help for, for, from anybody um, with this, the, the degree to which I bought into the belief was around a seven. I knew better, but I still had the belief, or more accurately, the belief had me. And I could feel the distress that it was causing in my stomach, probably um, an intensity level of around six. So you do that kind of measurement for yourself so that you can measure before and after. So then I did some tapping several times as I was practicing for this video, and I found that the belief started to dissolve. I also found that I became aware of the feeling of panic underneath it and that as I continued the tapping that that started to dissolve. So the belief is much less real for me. I'm going to go ahead and do it now and just show you the approach that I took and we'll see how much more freedom I can get from that particular belief and the impact that it had. So you start with a setup statement. Even though I had this belief that this is really important and I don't know how to do it and there's no one available to help me. I still love and accept myself. Even though I have this belief, this is important, I don't know how to do it and there's no help available. I still love and accept myself. Even though I have this belief, this is important, I don't know how to do it and there isn't anyone available to help me with it. I still love and accept myself. You do that three times because the research found that it takes doing it three times in order to get a treatment benefit from doing it. And then you continue by tapping on acupressure points that I'll show you. As you do the acupressure points, you do not need to complete the entire setup statement. Just a reminder, there's no one here to help me. There's nobody here to help me. And then you move to the side of the eye. When you're around the eye, you always tap on bone, never on soft tissue. There's nobody here to help me. I'm on my own. There's nobody here to help me. There's no one here to help me. So as I continue tapping, I feel the impact of the, of the belief in my body as energy starts to shift and release as I'm letting it go. And then tapping underneath the nose. Nobody here to help me. This is important. I'm on my own. There's no one here to help me. And then under the lip above the chin in that cleft area, no one to help me. 
There's no one available to help me. And I'm paying attention to the energy shifts in my gut where I feel the emotional impact of the belief as it continues releasing and letting go. And then under the collarbone near the sternum, I'm on my own. This is important. There's no one available to help me. I am on my own. And then under the arms, I'm gonna shift the camera so you can see it's about four inches down from the armpit. You can do it on either side. You can do it on both sides. You can do it by hugging yourself and doing it on the other side. Um, and you do that uh, as you repeat whatever the statement is for yourself. For me, I'm on my own. I need help, but there's nobody there to help me. And then you do the top of your head. If you think of the baby soft spot, then that's where on your head you're tapping. Do not do this on a baby soft spot. Nobody here to help me. On my own, nobody here to help me. So what I have found is as I have been doing that both in practice for this video and in doing this video, that the emotional charge that I have on it has continued to diminish. So where initially the belief um, seemed emotionally real to me at a level of about a seven, when I check myself right now, it's about a three, um, maybe a four. And the physiological sensations that went along with it have also cut um, probably in half, but they've also become more diffuse, so there's less intensity to it. There are wonderful people available on YouTube that you can tap along with or learn more about EFT from. Brad Yates does a lot of brief vignettes on various topics. Gary Craig is a great resource on YouTube, as is Dawson Church, who does a lot of research on EFT. Carol Look, Nick Ortner, Jessica Ortner, and Patricia Carrington, who has modified it to include positive statements after addressing the negative. So um, I hope that you will try this in your own life. I hope that you'll have a great time with it. And I hope you'll take advantage of the many resources that are available to incorporate emotional freedom techniques into your life, either for daily stresses or under the guidance of a qualified practitioner to deal with issues that may have been stuck and not moving. Thank you for paying attention.